Greetings, people. Today, we are reading more of Kip Tay's comic, One Serving Choice. A brilliant comic that is currently getting pretty interesting. If you want to support Kip Tay, you can support them on Patreon, which will be linked in the description. Also, you can look at publicly available pages on their DeviantArt, which will also be linked. Hell yeah, so last time, uh, Ika, our perfect little bean here, um, I was gonna say she had a wardrobe malfunction, but it was a bit more than that. She literally friggin' like, just destroyed her, her skirt, like, it was friggin' like... It was um, like spontaneous combustion, basically. There you go, it's spontaneous combustion. Skirt gone. Meeting the, the cheeks of destruction. There's no way it's standing against that. <laughs> God, she was indeed getting around her, but what on earth happened during the break? Sure, she was kind of chubby, but compared to that, she's huge! This oh. doesn't look like huge, <laughs> relatively. Relatively, yes. Uh, I mean, you know, we've seen some things in our time, you know, so... <laughs> Kip, I, I kind of appreciate the Kip as, you know, goes for the, 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 the moderate, I suppose. Kip is very, very moderate, almost could say conservative... Uh, fair, uh, chonk artist on the, uh, chonk compass. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> Don't worry, Ika. We'll work this out. Let's go get you some new clothes so you can at least come to school. No, sire. You need to hurry back to school. No, we have to go now. In the afternoon, there's going to be a lot more people in the store. It'll be awkward. But you'd be skipping class for me. It's fine. I get top grades from that class anyway. But I can't go out like this. I don't know whether Sire is really trying to be there for a friend or whether she's like, nah, man, I have no, no way I'm freaking going to class. This is way more interesting. <laughs> Shopping for clothes for my girlfriend, I mean. <laughs> we'll figure something out. Hmm. This will have to do. Huh? Corn cob curtain. Corn, corn, corn cob curtain. Iker, I'm sorry, but your taste, it, it's pretty bad, it's pretty bad. Sorry, are you sure that's not too corny? <gasps> no, this is why we read, this is, I, I don't care about any of this comic or anything. I'm here for Kip's funny, funny jokes in the description. That is what I'm really here for, you know, that's what, that's what I'm really looking out for. To show that her former body frame is now gone with the wind. What? <laughs> what? I'm amazed at your level of part. It could be and you're an expert in your field. I would keep going with these, but I think the one down is close. It's time to drop the curtain. Mm. And before she eats the curtains. What? She's, she wouldn't. She wouldn't. No, these, are, these aren't <coughs> made of food. Come on. Still can't believe Franz J is a fan of yours. What are we? I have no idea who that is. Um, so clearly they're not as famous as Kip. I'm sorry, whoever you are, Franz J. It's just facts. Let's just put a pin here and there. What do you think? Damn, she's got her cute sweater on. I mean, really, when you have a cute sweater like that, you know, what else do you need, really? I look like a merry-go-round. <laughs> no! Uh, I, I mean, I mean, I, yeah. she does kind of look like she's wearing do, a curtain. Do they not have like lie. sheets? Can they just wear a sheet? <laughs> Curtains seem a bit unsuitable. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, well, maybe the sheets had like boring patterns on them. I don't know. I'm sorry, but it'll have to do. Let's go. Where are we going? The Aitor Small. They have the biggest stores around, so we're bound to find something. Ah, good plan. The Itar Small, the thing that Ooh. ties all of these comics together. Everyone shops at the same... There's like one mall in the Kip universe. Then we may have to look at the maternity section. Isn't that also a bit of a recurring theme when they go to the mall? <laughs> <laughs> we go to the mall, but the clothes don't fit, so we have to go to the maternity section. Oh no, yes. <laughs> Yes, you, you, Kip, Kip has their, Kip has their own tropes, the Kip tropes, merely goes around consuming local produce, <laughs> good, 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 the Iger storyline has been done over and over, the lazy fat girl, there's nothing original about it, I've known several racial people are very much like her as far as attitude personality, I've always found it to be annoying, Tessa's story is far more interesting because I'm actually curious where that one is leading, yeah, well, that's just like your opinion, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, on the one hand, yeah, I do. I am really interested in the Tessa storyline. Also, T Ica isn't lazy. What she fucking like volunteers at the church. She she's just chunky. She's not lazy. Like I don't know. Why am I arguing with that? I mean, um, yeah, that's is all the pages we have. We will be back with more pages soon to find out how it goes. Do. Do the crowd like the curtain dress look? Or is, is Ica going to be fashion shamed from here to home and back? Or whatever the... I don't know. Is it going to work out? Is she going to have to shante away after... Wait, sashay away. Goodness, I'm getting it wrong. After RuPaul just says, No, no queen, it's not a look. The curtain dress. Can't have it. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha